and looking through this book of memories, I was struck by just how many entries mention Casey's kindness and warmth. Everyone's written in it. Her ability to, to provide so much joy and laughter to her friends and family. If he doesn't stop that, there's going to be another funeral. It's also clear. A lot of us have known Katie since she was very young and, as a result, felt particularly protective of her. And saddened, we were unable to prevent what happened that day. Such sadness at such a senseless accident is perhaps inevitable, but also futile, as is any guilt or regret. And all of us here, all of those whose lives she touched should feel heartened to know that she is now in the protection of a God who unconditionally loves her and cares for her every bit as much as we did. Andy. Well, I'm not going to say much. I think you all know what Katie meant to me. Because I said it all a few weeks ago here. When I thought it was forever. So I'm just going to read a poem from Sarah. I am very sad about Katie because I love her. Because she was kind and nice to me. Because she is beautiful. Because she... Because she plotted my hair when it grew back. Because she... Because she made my daddy happy again. I do want to say something. I, I just want to say thank you for helping me get through this. All your support. I couldn't have asked for anything more. In particular, you, Rob. I'm so glad we're becoming friends again. So thank you. Aaron? Aaron. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. <coughs> your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. 